Hello and welcome to Conquering Alba, where we take you to the historical places that make Scotland what it is today. Today we are in East Wems near Kirkcaldy Fife as we visit Macduff Castle. Macduff Castle was associated with the Macduff family who were the Earls of Fife and the most powerful family in Fife during the Middle Ages, although nothing survives from this period. The present ruins are the remains of the home of the Wems family who lived here from the 14th century and to their successors in the 16th century. Before we go around Macduff Castle, we are going to go down to Jonathan's Cave or Wem's Caves. The castle's ruins formerly comprised the remains of four-storey 14th century tower and a five-storey 16th century tower. The two were connected by the 16th century gatehouse range with 17th century walls containing gun loops. However, the eastern tower was demolished by the Fife County Council in 1967 after a child was injured falling from it.
A 16th century dovecoat formerly stood at the edge of the shore to the south of the castle, but was destroyed by sea erosion in the 1970s. The cave takes its name from the nail maker who lived in this cave with his family. When the Karen Ironworks opened in 1759, individual nail makers went out of business. The cave has also been known as the Factor's Cave. There are many interesting markings in this cave. On the upper ledges towards the back of the cave, there are lines which are thought to represent Pictish Ogham script. There are 11 recorded Pictish carvings in Jonathan's cave and 5 birds which probably date to this period. The Wems family, who take their name from the cave, feature a swan on their coat of arms. Swans or geese-like birds are the most common type in the Wems caves. Another notable carving is of a boat. If Pictish, it is the earliest depiction of a boat within Scotland.
It is thought that Macduff Castle may have been built here in the 11th century at the time of King Macbeth of Scotland, roughly 1057. During this time, the Macduffs held the right to crown the King of Scotland, an ancient privilege of placing the crown on the head of the new King of Queen during the crowning ceremony at the Stone of Schoon. And in 1306, during the Scottish Wars of Independence, it was the Earl's older sister, Isabella Macduff, who performed the ritual when Robert the Bruce was made King of Scotland. The Earl himself, Duncan Macduff, had been captured and was held in England by Edward I. History tells us that Isabella arrived a day too late for the coronation, but Robert the Bruce allowed the ceremony to be held once more on the following day. This way, the coronation complied with the usual standards and regulations being performed by a member of the Macduff family. Interestingly enough, Isabella Macduff was married to John Common, Earl of Buchan. He was a cousin to John Common III, Lord of Badenoch, who was killed by Robert the Bruce in 1306 due to their rivalry regarding the Scottish throne. Isabella's husband then joined the English side of the Wars of Independence, but despite this, Isabella chose to support Robert the Bruce. She was then sent into safety along with Robert the Bruce's wife, daughter and sisters, but they all fell into the hands of King Edward I's army. Isabella was sent to Berwick Castle, where she was imprisoned in a cage which was hanged from the outer walls of the castle. She was held there for four years and her final fate is unknown. It is possible she died before the end of the Scottish Wars of Independence. In 1304, King Edward I of England paid a visit here, staying with Sir Michael Wems. However, Wems later joined forces with Robert the Bruce and Edward ordered the castle to be destroyed. After the Wems family moved to the nearby Wems Castle, this castle passed on to the Livingstons, and then in 1530 it was taken over by the Colvilles, who built a second tower to the southwest and enclosed a courtyard with a gatehouse. In 1637, the castle was bought by Sir John Wems of West Wems from Lord Colville of Colross, and in 1651, the lands of East and West Wems were united as a single barony. It is said that the castle is supposedly haunted by a grey lady. Her name is said to be Mary Sybil, who was found guilty of theft and died here in the castle. We hope you have enjoyed today's video here at Macduff Castle. The castle still remains in the estate of the Wems family to this day. If you wish to see more of Scotland's historical places, then please like and subscribe. And until next time, Alba Gobrath!